What's going on, Turner fam? Yee yee! Welcome back to Turner Fishing. It's Steven Turner. I'm out here on beautiful Lake Mary, South Carolina. If you're in the market for catching more slabs like these, then you don't want to miss this video. We're going to be reviewing Crappy Man jigs. And we put the hurting on them. We put the hurting on them. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let's play that intro and go catch us some crappy. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a little bit past 7 o'clock. He straight up choked that crappy man G. Number one. There we go. Little guy. Little bitty one. There's a good one. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Ow! They're hitting real hard today. One crappy man G. That's a little about, about a nine incher, I guess. Oh! Uh, number two though. See, right now it's real early in the morning, so I'm utilizing the chartreuse color that uh, my dad makes. But I mean, you can probably catch them on white. I'm gonna switch to white here in a little bit to show y'all. But honestly, the the way we fish jigs is is it's a slow presentation. We use compact jigs. Which I'll, I'll I'll show you the jig here, a lot more in depth here in a little bit. But we use compact jigs and little bitty jig heads, and just that slow rate of fall. Crappies feed up; they don't feed down. So a slow rate of fall, you're in the strike zone a lot longer than you would be with a big jig. Now, you might think it's slow fishing, which I mean sometimes it is, but the results is what matters. Let's see if I can. That fish messed that jig up, but I believe I can still catch one on it. But the results matter a lot more than you know the the fast of fishing. Because I can sit here and ca cast a jig, cast a jig, cast a jig, or I can sit out here and keep this jig in the strike zone a lot more and get a reaction strike a lot easier. That's just, I mean, it's, a, it's personal preference, really. This is just how we've always fished, and I mean, we put a lot of crappy in the boat every year. Especially since he started making his own jigs. And he's got his own specific color that I'll show you in a little bit. It's called Ugly Green. But I'll put his uh his information in the description. And y'all can actually call him and order some jigs or you know. There's one right there. Little guy. <laughs> oh, that's a brim. <laughs> but now I'll put his description. His description. <laughs> His information in the description. You can call him and order some jigs. The colors I'm using is chartreuse. I've got a, a white, and I'm going to be using a ugly green here in a little bit. But he's been crappy fishing for most of my life. Now, growing up, 
we bass fished for the most part. And he got into crappy fishing and that's pretty much where he sticks. Now me personally, I would rather bass fish, but when they're biting, I don't mind getting out here catching them. And right now they're just starting to bite. So if you're just now watching this video, it's the 1st of October, get out here and catch some fish. I don't know if y'all can see the depth finder, but it's only like 14 feet right there. But there's a lot of structure coming up. It's really deeper, but the structure comes up so much on that bridge pillar. That's what it does. It's probably about 20 foot, give or take. With the water going down, I just had a bite and I didn't jerk. There he is. All I had to do was play with it a little bit. Not a keeper. Pretty fish though. Yeah, they're definitely moving in here. Like even though it's a little one, it's still fun. Especially since he bit it and then I gave it the old Turner twitch. And he nailed it. Let's get it back out there and see if we can get another one. But what it is guys, I'm on the first pillar of Black's Bridge on the right side, near uh, the bar and grill. I'm on the back side of it. Now, there's, there's some structure that comes out just a little bit. So I'm throwing beside that structure and letting it just come straight down. And I'll just give it a little twitch. When my line gets tight, I'll give it a little twitch so I can get that loop back in it. I'm always watching that loop. Now, sometimes it, you, they won't bite it when you're giving it a twitch, so you got to figure out. But today, it's a kind of a mix. So far, we caught four crappy. It's only like 7.30. And I think I got here about 7-ish. So, they're definitely biting right now. There's a couple more places I want to try. But, honestly, guys, like, you've got this whole bridge. Every pillar could hold crappy, honestly. I've caught crappy off every pillar, and I'm gonna go try some more pillars here in a minute. But they're biting right here, so honestly, why leave fish to find fish? If we keep catching little ones, you know, that's more of a reason to leave. But we'll see what we catch. There's a good one. I've caught about six or seven now. I ain't been turning the camera on for each one of them. There's a couple people around and that's still weird. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four. Alright, that's five. Fifteen more. That's a slab right there. Check out that one. Right in the top of the mail. It's a good 10 inch right there. Oh. 13 mo. Every time I pull up here. What's up, George? You doing all right? You ain't gonna jump in the boat today, are you? I'll try to catch you a little brim. All right now, George, this is crappy. I don't, I don't know if he's big enough to keep. We gonna see, all right? Big enough to keep, you ain't getting it. I don't think he's eight inches, so you might get lucky and get you a little crappy today. Oh, uh oh, George. He's about eight inches on the dot. We'll see if I can catch the little or one for you. That's number eight for me. 
It's about nine o'clock now, so can't be picky about the size. If I could throw. <laughs> I can get you one, George. That's the first cast here, though, so it's pretty good. There's some bigger size. I need 12 more for our limit. All right, George, I got you one. <laughs> You ready? You go, George. Go down the dock. Go down the dock. Oh, I missed, man. Dang. Again. Here we go. <laughs> All right, man. You happy now? Sorry, I catch you one more. One more. One more, George. I hate that they're small here. There's not a lot of fish like on the graph, but they could be under the brush pile. We'll catch one more for old George over there. I'm gonna have the big man. I mean, I wanna find at least some 10 inches. That would be ideal. There's one right there. That one might be a good one. Yes, sir. That's a good one. You can't get this one, George. Yeah, we might stay a few more minutes. Oh. Number eight or nine, I think, maybe. Yeah, nine, so 11 more. Well, that one was a white bite. Oh man, that's a freaking slab, dude. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. I don't wanna break my line, four pound test. We got him. Now that's a slab, guys. Yes, sir. Chartreuse crappy man jig. That's a that's a beautiful, beautiful crappy. Ten more, guys. Ten more. I'm glad we didn't leave, even though we were catching small ones. And we're done. We're starting to catch the bigger ones now. So just for the video, we're going to change from the chartreuse to what my dad calls ugly green. Which is this color right here. Oh. Same setup. Let's see if the bigger boys are going to bite this color instead of the chartreuse. go just like that uh, see what we can catch out here we gotta get back in our little spot I mean what y'all gotta understand there's a lot of brush piles that I'm not gonna show on video I'm just I mean it's just unreal at the amount of people that watch my videos just for the sake of knowing where I fish even though I make videos telling you exactly where I fish. But there's just some secrets you just don't give up. Just like this spot, I mean, if you can figure it out, come on. Well, a couple casts later and look at that guys. I feel stuck. Calm down, dude. Let's see. Look at that. Straight choked that crappy man G. And the ugly green. I mean, he's not a freaking slab donkey, but 
definitely helped the limit. Got nine more to go. We got him good. Nice little fish. Make sure he's eight inches real quick. And he most definitely is. Alright. The wind's starting to pick up. A little annoying to stay on the spot, but it is what it is. That's fishing. Another eight incher. I mean, honestly, guys, it's just a throw and a wait. Like, we're sitting in 28 feet of water right here. And they're probably biting in about, I don't know, about 10. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to keep my line in the water so it actually goes down where it's supposed to be. So you've really got... I put my finger on the line right there so you can really feel anything that bumps it. Or if I get too close to the brush, I can pick it off of it. And every now and then, I'm just going to give it a little pop. And that's giving the bait action, but it's also letting me check for bigger fish. Because the bigger fish will bite it just like that, and you're not even going to know it. I wouldn't have picked up, I wouldn't have known he got it because he just sucked it in and he was there and that's how you hook yourself right there. That was almost a big mistake on my part. Alright, let's count these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, oh, I got more than that. Alright, so I'm gonna give y'all another cast, another rundown. See the wind's blowing right now. So I'm going to let my line go down into the water, just like that. Let it go down a bit where it originally starts. I'm going to try to keep at least like a foot under the water. I'm getting a little closer to the brush pile, so I'm going to wind up just a little bit. And then we're just going to start periodically checking. And it should go right over that little brush or tree or whatever the hell's down there. And you feel the thump. Now as the wind blows me this way, I'm going to wind up because I, I like to have enough room to pick up. There's one right there. Oh! See what I mean? He didn't even bite it. Like, the, the thump's cool, but catching them when they ain't, like, hitting it at all, that's where the the, the, bull, the men separate from the boys. Let's see if we can get another bite. Put my line in the water and let it go down. I'm going to keep about one foot in the water. So it's, it just has a, a real natural fall to it. And we're going to pick up and let it pendulum past that brush pile. Now we can start checking. There he is. I want to say I got seven more. This one's kind of small. Now we're going to throw him back because I still want to go to Big Man to catch. Catch some. Right. I'm going to call it, what, like four fish off this jig, and I'm just now having to reset it. My old wise tail says, if you catch one on it, try to reuse it as many times as you can because you get that fish slime on it, and they bite better. Now, I don't know if that's true, but just what I've been told. All right. I mean, four to five fish on the jig, to me, that's worth it.
Another slab. <clears throat> that ugly green. There's another one, so six left, I think. I, I'm going to take them all out here in a little bit and count just to make sure. But we're definitely going to catch five more and then I'm going to count. So, they're biting good here. I might not even have to go to Big Man. My plan on doing, I plan on just limiting it out and then I'm going to go catch some bass for another video. I suppose, depending on the time. It's only like 9.30. We've been fishing since 7, so three hours, we got at least 14 crappy. You can't beat that. I mean, yeah, I've come out here and limited out in, you know, an hour, 30 minutes. We're limited out on this dip net right now, but it's good fishing right now, guys. All right, boys, so here's the dilemma. I need three more for the limit. On these crappy man jews and i done threw back probably 10 h inches trying to get some bigger fish because i really don't want to ride the big man i mean it's not really not that far but I, mean, I don't really want to ride there for three fish i don't think when i can turn around and bass fish over here so i guess we're gonna catch three more little eight inches and maybe a bigger one hopefully and we'll challenge complete All right, one more, guys. No, don't go in the water. Oh, pretty little fish. Oh, hopefully we can get it next cast. I had a, some gar come through here, and I believe I messed them up just a little bit. Because it was like bang, bang, bang every cast, but they got a little bit slow. I had to change back to that ugly green color to get that bite. I was using chartreuse. So, got one more. Let's see if we can get it on this cast right here. Had to slow down just a little bit. What's up guys? So we ended up finding another one. My GoPro battery died. So we caught in the limit. You know, we got probably five or six really good fish today. Those jigs held, held up really well. I'm glad I got the opportunity to try them out for my dad. But like I said, if you want to purchase the jigs, I'll put the number up right here again. Just give him a call. His name's uh, Benny Turner, and you know, just talk him out, talk to him, and he'll tell you all the prices and shipping and all that. I mean, yeah, he can even make you the jigs we use if you want. But if you enjoyed this video, think someone else would like it, hit a thumbs up for me, share it on your Facebook. Y'all know the deal. I'll catch you next time. Let's go catch some more fish one day. And I'm... Um...